Hello my fellow foodies. Today we are making this nutty caramel cornflake brownie. It is so chocolatey and so so good. The crunch of those cornflakes and nuts on top, too good. So to start off we're going to melt some butter over a pot of, of boiling water and to the butter we're going to add uh, some dark chocolate and we're just going to continue to mix until the chocolate and the butter melts down Then you're going to take it off the stove and you're going to um, Add in some cocoa powder and just give it a good mix and make sure that there are no lumps and bumps Then add in some salt just to balance out the sweetness of the chocolate and the sugar add in some sugar this is a really decadent uh, dessert. So yes, we do need chocolate and sugar. Then we're going to add in some coffee and the coffee really helps to bring out the flavor of that chocolate. It makes the brownie just taste extra chocolatey. And then we're going to add some vanilla paste and give everything a good mix. And then some eggs. And whisk that up. And then finally we're going to add some flour and this recipe really calls for very little flour because we're not trying to make cake here we're making a brownie and we want it to be fudgy um, we don't want it to be cakey so give that a good mix and then uh, line a baking pan with some baking paper and then just spread that mixture uh, in your baking pan and then you're going to bake that at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. In the meantime, you're going to chop up some nuts. So you can use any nuts that you like. I used cashews and walnuts. And then we're going to make our caramel sauce. So in a pot, you're going to caramelize some sugar. Don't add anything to the sugar. Just add the sugar to the pot and let it car caramelize. And then add in some milk once your sugar is caramelized and just stir that quickly in. Then you're going to add in some butter, some salt and some vanilla paste. And then bring everything to a boil um, until it becomes nice and caramelly. Then to the caramel you're going to add your cornflakes and your nuts and give everything a good mix. Make sure all your nuts and all your cornflakes are covered in that caramel. And then once your brownie is cooled, you're going to take that uh, cornflake mixture and you're going to spread it over your, on top of your brownie um, and just refrigerate that overnight. I know that it's it really takes a lot to be patient with this one but you do need to leave it overnight you'll be thankful you did the following day and then now it's time to cut up our brownies into squares and enjoy At this point, the anticipation of biting into this was really getting to me. I couldn't wait to bite into that brownie. I mean, underneath you've got that fudgy chocolatey brownie, and then on top you've got the crunch from the nuts and the cornflakes, and the sweetness from the caramel. Mm, so, so good. I mean, just look at that. I really hope that you tried this recipe and let me know what you think in the comment section and please don't forget to like and to subscribe. Cheers!